Did y'all see the game? Man, I'm sitting here watching it. I ain't gonna lie at first. I thought it was kinda it kinda sucked though. But it got better though. It got better though, man. I saw uh Tia Mari light skin behind one in it though. I think they said she wanted too much money, but I can't be mad at that anyway, man. But overall it was pretty good though. It was pretty good, uh what, what happened in the game? I can't remember. What do you mean it was good, but you can't remember what happened? It's BET. Yeah. It was good. You don't, you don't think about it after you watch it. Well, well, I did see I did see an episode, though. I mean, obviously, Durham got traded with something that I think we all we all saw coming out from the press releases and the tweets that they constantly had put out during the offseason. So, no surprise. But it was still done in a nice way, though. I mean, real reactions. I mean, it may, it was realistic. It wasn't that bad, though. Lauren London. She was good. She was good. She acted real, real good, man. I can't lie. When she had baby, when she had Wayne's baby, man, that threw me off hard for a long time, though. But she is doing good on this show. You didn't walk into your destiny, girl. Maybe. But we'll see, though, you know, because the other light skin girl left. This could be your shot. This could be your opportunity to make it happen for the light skin girls on the game. For some reason, Tasha Mack was like three shades lighter than she normally is, though, for some reason to me. Though. I think they're trying to see who can be the new light skin girl on the show. I think it's give it to Lauren London, though, because Tasha Mack ain't even that light skin in real life anyway. But overall, it was good. I was, you know, I'm, I'm real curious to see what's going to happen with Malik. Um, glad TT's still there, man. He one of them characters, though. You glad he's still in the scene? You see him? Like, yeah. TT still getting a check. That makes me happy. Um, I don't know what they had Brandy wearing, man. Brandy was looking so tacky in that whole episode, man. I'll, I'll, uh, what, what's her name? Her name's Chardonnay around the show. Char Chardonnay. Thank you, BT. But Chardonnay was looking a hot mess throughout the whole episode. Looking like ghetto, hot weave mess, Carrie Bradshaw. It was terrible. All her outfits looked stupid. But, I mean, she had a couple lines with me. She got a check, which is good. Um, the dude, Jason... I don't know. It, it said he was guest starring in the episodes. So I don't know if he's going to be on it anymore. I saw it said guest starring, you know, it said Pooch Hall and him too. So I don't know if he's going to be on it no more. And if he ain't on it, I don't see why Brandy on it no more because she's his wife. So, we'll see what happens on man. All in all, man, it was still real good though. That that new guy, the new receiver, it's still interesting though, man. He can't really act to me, but... You know, I think I think it still uh, turned out pretty well though. So we'll see what happens though. Uh, good storyline going on. Pretty good job, BT. One hundred six Park is awful though. Y'all niggas, I'll be saying y'all so. But this one's pretty good though. Um, bro, shoot, BT, BT's hit and miss, man. Real Husbands of Hollywood hit. The game, this episode hit. Second generation Wayne's complete miss. Let's stay together. I don't care. Nobody say. I I don't think it's good. I don't like it. But that's just me. This is my game review, guys. Let me know what you think. Thank you.